Welcome to our lesson on audio files. Here we'll learn about how computers store audio, the properties of digital audio files, as well as the different file formats commonly used. Let's dive in. Sound waves, like ocean waves, have peaks and troughs. The bigger the wave, the louder the sound. We call this amplitude. To store sound digitally, an analog to digital converter changes analog sound into numerical data. This involves taking periodic samples of the analog signal and converting them into representative numbers. The process of storing sound digitally can be described as follows. The analog sound is recorded by a microphone. This is converted into an analog electrical signal. The amplitude is measured at regular intervals. This process is called sampling. The values are rounded to whole numbers. This is called quantization. Finally, these values are stored as binary numbers. Let's now talk about the properties of audio files. As we have mentioned, storing audio on computers involves taking samples at certain intervals and representing them as numbers. The frequency of these samples and the precision used to record them affect the quality and file size of the final audio recording. The number of samples taken per second when digitally recording audio is called a sample rate measured in hertz. The higher the sample rate, the closer the recorded sample can get to the original sound. However, more samples mean more data, leading to a larger file size. A typical sample rate for music recordings is 44,100 hertz. Each sample represents the wave's height as a number. The number of bits used to record this sample number is called the bit depth or sample resolution. Using more bits per sample, allows for a greater range of numbers and higher precision. For example, two bits per sample can store four numbers, 0, 1, 2, and 3, while eight bits per sample can store 256 different numbers. Typically, recorded audio will have a 16, 24, or 32-bit bit depth. To illustrate the importance of bit depth, consider recording audio with a two-bit bit depth. During the sampling process, Quantization rounds values to whole numbers. Reconstructing the audio with these values results in a significant departure from the original audio. However, recording the same analog wave using a 4-bit bit depth provides a more accurate recording, as values are rounded down less and recorded more precisely. The trade-off is that a larger bit depth results in a larger file size due to increased data usage per sample. When storing audio data, there are various file formats we can choose, with each serving different purposes and affecting file size and audio quality. MP3 is a lossy compressed format, popular for streaming and storing music on mobile devices. AAC is an Apple-specific equivalent. Both offer small file sizes, but lower audio quality. Hubvorbis is another lossy compressed format used for streaming, like Spotify. It's open source, cost effective, and provides slightly better quality than MP3 while still maintaining small file sizes. WAV is an uncompressed format used for music CDs and storing recorded audio during production. It offers high quality audio but results in large file sizes. FLAC is a lossless compressed format, ideal for sharing high res audio online and storing on devices. It retains audio quality while halving file sizes compared to WAV. However, it doesn't compress as much as MP3 or OGVORBIS, making it less suitable for streaming. Compatibility with devices and media players is also limited compared to other formats. In conclusion, understanding digital audio storage is essential when working with audio files. Sampling rate and bit depth impact audio quality and file size while various formats like MP3, AAC, Obvorbis, WAV, and FLAC cater to different needs, balancing quality, compatibility, and storage efficiency.